Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Philippines. Good morning or good afternoon in your country. We are live from the Polog City. Okay, before we start, let me know. Can you guys hear me? Okay, and also maayong gabi sa mga Bisaya. We are live. Okay, Sunday live. And I'd like to say happy Easter Sunday, everyone. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the week. Okay. Um, let us wait. Hopefully we had uh, viewers tonight and also hopefully, you know, we had a good signal. Okay, welcome to our live. And also I would like to thank to all my new subscribers from the beginning, viewers, subscribers, loyal subscribers, friends. Thank you so much for all your support by watching this video to make this channel, hopefully, <laughs> they will uh, grow my channel if you guys help me to share, like, and, you know, share to your friends and subscribe to my channel. Okay, I know someone's there. Please let me know. Can you guys hear me? And yeah, I'm sorry. I don't have makeup tonight. <laughs> I just like, sometimes I was like lazy putting makeup even at work. I don't have makeup today at work. Even like every day now, like a week, I did not put makeup at work. So yeah. And yeah, mayong gabi is sa mga taga -dipolog. I know someone's there already. Please let me know. Can you guys hear me? And also, please join to our live chat. Just say hi or hello. Where are you from? So that I know that you guys um watching my live. Okay. And... Let us welcome also to all my new viewers and subscribers. Thank you for being here. And uh, I would like to know to you guys that we are having a live stream every Sunday exactly at 9 p.m. Philippine time. Okay. Happy Easter, everyone. Please come and join to our live chat if you have uh, questions or subject that we will discuss tonight. That would be great. So that let us share also to other viewers, um, sharing ideas and opinion. That would be nice. Okay. Ah. Okay, shout out to you. Sino po yan? Please join to our live chat. Hi. So it's kind of like peaceful at this moment, but I know I have viewers. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, let us wait. Maybe some of them are sleeping still, still sleeping because it's like early morning from America and afternoon in Europe and evening in Philippines. <laughs> and hopefully, meron tayong uh, Filipino friends or Bisaya subscriber that we join to our live chat. And hopefully we had a good signal, looks like. 
yeah it's kind of like um not really it's quiet today because it's like i am alone in this um apartment like downstairs yeah they have people there but upstairs i am um alone from both rooms so just me <laughs> They're going home there in their province to celebrate um, holidays, or Easter Sunday. Okay, let me know, is it clear? Morta De Hassan, hello to you, sir. Good, more, good afternoon, I think. <laughs> from your country or good evening in philippines yeah in quiet uh, yeah it's afternoon okay good afternoon to you it's been a while sir that yeah i familiarize your channel from the beginning <laughs> i familiarize you my subscriber before thank you so much for being here morta dahasan and John, hopeful, uh, how are you and your mother? Hope you're fine. Yeah, everything is good, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here again. And uh, how's life? Are you guys celebrating also Easter from Kuwait? Yeah, if you hear this, neighbors karaoke it's like few blocks from here they, they have like i don't know it's like party party that's why if you heard it they are singing karaoke karaoke <laughs> it's normal when um filipino have party they should have karaoke the party would not complete without karaoke <laughs> okay ah let us wait for the others so how was life sir marta dahasan um i would like also to invite to everyone to please join to our live chat if you have questions please don't hesitate to join uh, i'm sorry my look was <laughs> that's my normal look no makeup because we are in ramadan month in quiet Ah, okay sorry sir yeah, i respect you are having a holidays like we call ramadan okay weather here oh my god it's so hot we are in summer time that's why it's really hot it's humid especially during holidays weekend you know um very hot weather so it's summertime in the philippines okay let us invite also to everyone please join to our live chat ah, where is my friend <laughs> all of you guys is my friend so i would like to uh join to our live chat ah, my look is <laughs> Okay, I think everyone is party partying this Holy Week, 
Easter Sunday. Oh my God, that's so loud. And yeah, everyone is celebrating um, bonding or get together with the family in the beach. Yeah. But not me today. I was working. So it's been quite in a mall today because, you know, some of them spend time with the family in the beach or resort public resort public beach yeah so if you have questions please join to our live chat oh. <laughs> why they're not joining i know i have viewers now like we're gonna start live or I have like five viewers now. Five? <laughs> I only have one people comment. Please, okay, six viewers. <laughs> Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And also, if you guys um, have time, please take back a look on my previous video and on my latest video about what's the advantage of um in Filipino around 30s so if you watch that video please you can share it to your friend guys and give me a thumbs up and it will have bonus on me if you don't skip the ads while watching all my video <laughs> yeah so that it, it helps really in my channel to grow if you subscribe and share to all your friends my channel <laughs> yeah so and have you noticed that guys that i made like different video instead of talking like this uh doing a a vlog so i made that like you know outdoor capturing uh my day where i did and then yeah make that video so i hope you like that video <laughs> okay jim good morning to you did you do anything on good friday no, I was go visit mom on Friday uh, in the morning. I just like um, grab fish and vegetables always when I go visit it, mom. Yeah, fish and vegetables. And I did not cook benignet because I feel like tired. And only mom really could not eat a lot. And, you know, brother is not really like, bother about the benignit and I feel like I am tired so I did not cook benignit I was supposed if I cook benignit I was supposed to, to, to make a video but um I can't be better um I just like buy a we call sacking banana and then the sweet potato so that's what I bought on Friday and I boiled it so that's what our um, food on the table we had on Friday. And what I did after, I was just lay down, like having a nap in a couch, like how many hours after I eat. <laughs> so yeah, it's like having a nap, like four to five hours in a, in a, in our uh, sala, in the, we call that. Mm. In a we called so far we called bang banco in Visaya. <laughs> yeah, sleep in banco. Banco it means like long chair that you can lie down. Yeah, so that's what I did uh, on Good Friday. I was just um actually laying down and yeah watching the movie of the Good Friday like you know and uh, the mass on online TV. 
and then and until I fall asleep. So yeah. Happy Easter also, Neil Vegas. I hope you are keeping well. Thank you so much. All good. All good in wood. Thank you so much. Rock Jamrock, good morning to you. How was your working Easter? It's a beautiful morning in Florida. Well, beautiful morning in Florida. And on my Easter Sunday, it's working like today. It's not like busy at work, you know, it's like, but sometimes if you feel like, um, how do you call this, not busy, like you can, there is nothing else you can do that keeps you busy. You feel like, uh, tired. <laughs> you know, but if your uh, mind keeps busy, oh, I have to do this, I have to go run like this. I prefer like that, but it's when it's like called easy busy day or it's not busy for you, it's like, oh, just sit down there. <laughs> So yeah, that's kind of my Easter Sunday working. And we're about what about you guys? I would like to know also if you don't mind to share what's your plan this early Easter Sunday morning to you guys. Any plans? you guys know what i'm doing what i did but so if you don't mind you guys share to me and to my viewers also wow that's good we i had two bars stay on two bars well that's good hopefully finger cross <laughs> because sometimes i was just worried with my with my signal but tonight, nobody can use it. internet here. Neighbors are not here. So that's good. <laughs> so let us wait also to everyone. Please come and join our live chat. always drinking water because it's really feel like hot all day guys you know I mean, during lunch break I have lunch break I always do eat in my room I go home lunch break and eat here and cook my lunch it's really humid when I walk down in the street even I have umbrella it's really hot like you know like tonight, when I arrive here, when I open my room, I feel like, oh, it's really humid. I should put like how temperature in my room. It's really humid, guys. And we just open it and we feel like sweating, you know. Oh my God. So, and like now, I always like do front on the on the electric fan but suddenly when i go example when i go in the toilet or when i go sit in the bed like not facing to the fan you feel like oh my god sweating like in a second it's sweating and imagine how really hot it is in my room even i have two fans here yeah it's really summertime. Ah, summer in the Philippines. It's really humid and hot because this year we had a lot of, what do you call this, sun, sunshine, how it was called, sunny weather. This year, you know, we don't get much of rain. So that's why, you know, it's like very hot.
Do you know many Mangkai Filipinas? Um, not many, no. Like in our barangay, how many Mangkai is there? I think only me. <laughs> Not a lot. It's been rare, even in my in our just in our village. I think only me. Yeah. Single mom, they have that mangkai only me. <laughs> and also at work, it's like few. It's like only three, two, three, four, something like that. It's been rare, like have monkey yeah and their cho it's choice to be to be a monkey rather than to get a headache filipino man yeah John D, hello to you. Happy Easter Sunday. How was your plan today? What's your plan today on Easter Sunday? I was trying to take a nap, but I hurt too much. Why hurt? Why it hurts too much, John D? Is Marites a monkey? Yes, also that's what I mean. Marites also is monkey. <laughs> Only me and Marites monkey and one of the office also. Yeah, it's very rare, guys, using monkey. Monkey is different from the single non. Yeah. And have you watched that video um for those who hasn't how do you call this watch yet my video like latest video about the advantage to date filipino around 30s if you watch that video do you know what i mean about the mankai <laughs> you guys you should watch that video <laughs> Uh -oh. I had only few viewers tonight. Where is the other? It sounds really hot. We always have great weather this time of year. 25 degrees with low humidity. Mm. You guys have a nice weather, <laughs> 25 degrees. Here, I don't know how degrees today. Like 39, 38. 37 i don't know i did not see uh degrees today even yesterday so but you made oh my god it's really would be nice to put like small aircon aircon it's really help during summertime really you need aircon like you know like it's to me cool down in your room and then after that use the fan that's better but if you know if without it it's ugh, you can feel like very humid especially when you have house or rooms like this concrete wall oh my god <laughs> it's really really humid so that's why if you're wondering i always like wearing with uh sleeveless because i can't handle like if you're wearing shirt put t-shirt you know 
most of my clothes is like sleeveless because you know i feel comfortable you know only when i go out when the sun was so bright and if i ride body i have to wear you know a uh, long sleeve hat spirit with hat cover all your face even my hands i just cover my hands so that's why i feel like brown it's really even like an hour or minutes exposed in the sun it's really you feel uh, not sunburn like dark in the skin when you're exposed to the sun yeah do you think the upstairs apartment where you live are hotter than downstairs um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because I did not feel like uh, when I go to, I think because, you know, if you seen downstairs and the owner of this is just the front, you see those big house, it's black all the wall from downstairs. So a little bit okay upstairs because the air like you know blows around here upstairs when you open the window and the door sometimes i feel the wind blows better up i think it's better upstairs than you know downstairs to to make like cooler And you see this wall here and the wall here and this is downstairs with apartment rooms and front is the big house of the owner of this flat so it's really black all the wind you cannot get the wind upstairs was okay yeah trying to repair my house but i'm not a real carpenter staying home with my daughter today we usually go next door to where my wife works but our friend got got the shingles what the shingles <laughs> what are shingles john d wow yeah is still your wife working today in easter sunday i thought it's holiday i was thinking i also thought that you guys having holidays no work at all like you know and especially easter sunday but i don't know some people work yeah and also when you are working in mall in the philippines because it's open so we have to work has may and contact to you no no jim i always trade gmail you know but uh, no one can contact me <laughs> she did not message me so i don't know but i was thinking you know because tomorrow is april so i did not check i i did not do appointment on my passport still oh my goodness, i have to do this because i was just i was just asking information to people knows in uh, my colleagues in the plaza People knows about in Osami City, in Clarin, where I can renew passport. I was just asking if there is like a room, like even cheap room, like called trans, trans, transient room, you know, like uh, that I can stay at night when I arrive there and the following day was renewing my passport. And after that, like maybe explore a little bit in Osamis, 
Yeah, so I asked and they said, yeah, they have uh, rooms or uh, large or hot, not like hotel really, it's expensive. It's just like safe that I can stay at night. And they said, yes, they have it there. So next I'm going to do is I'm gonna uh, start appointment online. Yeah, but hopefully me and will contact me that, you know, maybe we can get together, meet up while I am in Osami City. Did you get paid for the day off on Good Friday? Yes, uh, we get paid like single pay because that's holiday and since the plaza was closed and um, we don't have work so we paid single single pay we paid that they pay the company paid that i mean see they had, that's the good thing if they have holiday and if you work they get double pay but since we don't work so yeah we get paid so because i'm sweating no oh, i need a fun so yeah how was everyone doing please join to our live chat if you have questions or anything uh, that's why i feel sweat because the fun it's not in front of me give me a minute guys i'm gonna put this phone close to me like, yeah. i wanted to get close and face to me because i feel like sweat or it's hot it's really humid Shingles is a painful, usually itchy, rash that develops on one side of the face of the body. Believe be to be caused years later from taking measles vaccine. Shingles, ah, it's like a rash or something, measles. Wow, that's really bad like itching eee. and you feel not feeling well and confident like you feel like sick if you had that because itching and you feel like oh oh my god well i hope you get well john d Please get well and then so that you can um, work on your house. My wife works home health and the patient is her best friend daughter. So she get paid for something she do for free. Ah, okay, so that's why I think. It's like, you know, still can work even holiday. Well, that's a good thing, Jandi, because it's like uh, close to your house. Okay. We have something called March Madness happening here in America now. 
men's and women's college basketball tournament. Mm. Yeah, we call that also like it's in drums. In drums that you know they have basketball tournament and you know, we call that also here. It's like similar. Basketball tournament. Oh my god, if you hear those sounds, neighbor sounds, it's that bodot. If you visit already in Philippines, if you hear the sound, what bodot means. That's okay if it's like far, but when your neighbor close to that, oh my god, you feel like <laughs> noisy or deaf in like, ooh, it's noisy. Okay. Is everyone would like to ask questions? We don't have much viewers tonight, so um, I don't know. So if you have questions, please join to our live, live chat. Before I go, we just only have a few viewers tonight. Did you have a lot of rain this year? No, we don't have. This year, it's lots of sunny drought, not much rain. Yeah. So let us wait for the others. Please join to our live chat if you have questions before I go. Have you ever considered taking an extended leave of absence from work? Or would it be difficult to find similar job afterwards? Um, in the Polog, it's it's different. This is small city. It's not like in Manila or Cebu that lots of big establishment, you know. And um, it's it's not difficult, but you know, a lot of job seekers here in the Polog that they really need job and only like few establishments. And they only hired like these people, like few people. So that those kind of uh, thing, it's difficult when you find a job here in the Polo. But when you're in Manila, a lot of you know establishment that you can apply job. It's that's good. You don't have to worry. And second is when you're around above thirty five something they have age limit to apply so i am kind of worried about myself if where i can find a job that can you know um hire me at my age yeah they maybe they they can hire me because as my um uh, background people is background uh, employment or my position where i've been now yeah, maybe it's easier for me to get a job here if I go apply to other mall. But yeah, this kind of worried me is my age really. <laughs> if they would accept me. So yeah. And um, that's really difficult when you have like age limit that works to apply. But if you go apply into the call center, yes, for sure. But 
call center here, it's different in Cebu, in Manila. It's like a small, it's not big, big, uh, how do you call this, company, you know. But, yeah, it's just small, but people, some of my previous colleagues, they go in call center here. But I don't think if I can work with that. <laughs> Because uh, it's different to sleep nighttime than daytime. Yeah. So that's worried me a lot. <laughs> but if I can go extend my leave, like say, like example, day off on Monday, and I go absent on Tuesday. Yes, they will allow that because of my, um, how to call this, if I, if I ask, you know, permission that I would have to leave of absent for that day because I, you know, appointment. So, but if I will extend like another day, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't think if they will allow me. But I will try, you know, I will try. See if like, you know, um, I have like, example, important matter like, you know, meet up with this, you know, vlogger or maybe I have another, you know, places that there's a nice, nice place that I would love to visit that area it's just more uh, close to that area then i can do that <laughs> i can do that i was just informing to office that you know i will extend one day <laughs> if i find a place that really nice to explore Do you miss Manila? I don't think I would like it there. Too congested. I don't miss Manila, really. I don't. I don't really like Manila, especially when I go travel in EDSA, when I go back and forth to work. Mm, I can't work like that. If it's okay when I, because when I assigned in Manila before, I was assigned in SM. That was province area, Calabar zone, say like Laguna or Cavite. And our uh, apartment or staff house, we call staff house, is just walking distance. So I don't have to travel like uh, way every day. But the only thing if I have like... Um, what do you call this visit to other place like from Cala province to uh, Calabar zone, Cavite to Manila. I need to travel. That really hates me. I don't like to travel, especially on traffic. No, I can't. So it's better here, really, in the province. Yeah. I like Manila. I miss Manila by the time like I go explore like only few days three or one week something like that just visit around Manila explore yes I miss that I like but when I say to leave no I don't miss Manila <laughs> I hear most sales lady in malls and restaurant are younger. Yes. Have you seen or have you noticed that the staff, especially in a restaurant, they are younger? Sales lady in mall, they are younger. It's been rare like um, older um Filipina, it's not older. Maybe say like in sample, they start from age 21 and then 10 years, they get regular and then still work in that 
uh, mall of 13 years. So that's why um, they get old employee, I mean. So that's why. But on probationary, five months, six months, they need younger ladies to work in restaurant or sales lady. Hey, what about us? <laughs> What about us? <laughs> Hello, John. Happy Easter Sunday also. How was your weekend? Any plans on Sunday morning? <laughs> Thank you so much. Hopefully you too have a wonderful weekend. And enjoy your Easter Sunday. Okay, where is the other? Let us heard also before um, I go. So let us wait in 10 minutes. Let us heard also to other viewers. 10 minutes before I go. So that's a good thing because it's like peaceful now as you can heard <laughs> this stuff because they have curfew here by the time it's 10 o'clock karaoke and party neighbor you have to you can still partying but no karaoke no sounds because you know it's Good. It's working days or school days from Monday to Friday. So they have curfew at night time. So that's why if you heard, oh, this still, it's not like too loud because people are sleeping. Do you think there are me? me any business opportunities that can be successful in the polo yes i think so especially when you're planning to you know around the cities here or in the boulevard yes it absolutely successful one day because um five years or ten years from now you know, way back five years ago, the polo, it's not like this before. In 10 years, in 15 years, it's not like this before, you know. And now it's like building and building up. So I think businesses are successful, you know. So, yeah, that's what I think. You know, they rebuild and they like, you know. Um, street are they like rebuilding with uh, you know concrete or how to call this widening road and they start like putting other uh, business or establishment in the city so yeah if if you were they have a new building open like month of February and then yeah I heard I heard also they have like open another mall but um, not not reconstruct yet just just heard but not totally like constructed so yeah I think it will be successful the prologue is getting better and better years and years goes by So, yes, it is, guys. And where is the other? Please join to our live chat if you have questions before I go in five minutes.
So I hope, you know, I would like to hear also you guys planning this Sunday, Easter Sunday. Would be nice because as I can see it, uh, some people they go on the beach with the family swimming lots of foods grilled food uh, I was like really uh, I like that <laughs> grilling food so yes guys So it's like peaceful now. Okay. Is anyone would like to ask questions? Yes, and you have if you guys have free time, please take a look take a look on my previous video from the beginning where I start <laughs> YouTube, you know. When I when I have time also I was just like um looking on my previous video on the first video I upload in this channel. It's like I go running, running around in a white sand beach. <laughs> it's just running and running around. Yeah. Because that time I was like happy uploading video, you know, everywhere I go because I love to explore. That that was in Patar Beach. Patar Beach Bulinao, that was in Pangasinan. So it's really nice that was my first video make in my channel yeah when i was a kid we would fly kites at easter do you do that there before, when I was a kid also, yes, we did that. It's like um, flying kites and we use a plastic, plastics, the plastic bag or plastic cellophane, we called it. That's what we use uh, when I was a kid. But now a day, I did not see now rock genre because kids nowadays even one year old, two years old, they, they know how to using phones. So it's like, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's really true. Like nowadays, one year old, two years old kids, they know how to browse cell phone, watching videos. Like uh, before, when I was a kid, uh, you know, I told you, did I tell you, did I tell you that you know i start have a phone when i was 21 years old 22 years old when i was work in manila 2017 18 something like that i forgot that's my first have phone i ever in my life you know so you can imagine that guys i was 21 or 22 years old something i have a phone yeah nowadays like crazy like um, i did not know how to use phone when i was elementary high school and college i don't have phone really so honestly i don't have that and nowadays when i look at kids two years old three years old 
he just holding the phone and you know listen. well it's now a new generation and it's different when i was kid i was a kid before Apartment rentals are probably a good investment anywhere. Do you have a guess how much something like where you live would cost? Mm, what do you mean? Yes, you are right. Apartment, it's really good business in Lipolo nowadays. If you can buy a land here in Lipolo, if you have millions and millions how many millions you can buy a land say like if you buy like one million or two million land in the polo and you build like just that really a small land really but if you have a like nice land and rebuild it that would be better that would be great you know and if i would suggest if i have like invest or a lot of money that i can invest i would do that apartment even like this land oh it's like it's good business see it's always full this apartment only six rooms but always full because you know what it's like close to the city downtown you have you can walk you can go walk in a boulevard you can go walk in a mall this is great like you know if you buy a land like this and rebuild an apartment it's nice it's absolutely i like it even like rooms like this not the big one not the big like row house or big house or i mean big apartment it's just like these small rooms that you know studio type that would be great you know It's a great investment. Simply long time suck post. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Simply Lang. Happy Easter Sunday to you. Thank you for being here. Tagasan po kayo. Okay. Okay, we still have nine viewers. Please join to our live chat. Just say hi, hello. <laughs> mm so that I know where are you from, watching from. Okay. So it's kind of like, you know, um, like this, like I have few viewers when I'm doing my live. So. But I would just, I know you guys suggest that i doing a live, outdoor live on every, on my day off. Uh, I I wanted I should do that but I will just keep posted on community post if I do a live outdoor live like that during days off because you know if sometimes if I'm busy and then you know I have to go you I have always go to run mom's house so it's like um I just post in community if I do uh, outdoor live. Okay. So let you know, guys. Okay, is anyone would like to ask? Wala tayong Filipino, Bisaya subscribers tonight or friends that we joined our live. Maybe they are sleeping. You are sleeping. Okay, so anyone would like to ask questions? Okay. 
okay i think it's peaceful now i still have eight viewers okay so i think i have to go and sleep now guys because look at me <laughs> ah, that keeps tired <laughs> Yeah. So I think I have to go and sleep now. Tomorrow it's my day off, but I have to go visit mom. I have to uh, buy rice, drop some rice. Last time I did not bring rice because a lot of two two echo bags, two bags in body's hook. So I could not put the rice on it. So tomorrow I'm going to buy a rice and drop at mom's house. And then come back here. Okay, or maybe uh, just walk around Boulevard after. All right. I think I have to go now. I would like to say thank you everyone who will be joining tonight. Thank you for your time. Happy Easter again. And hopefully I will see you again on next live every Sunday, exactly at 9 p.m. Philippine time. See you and God bless you, everyone. Good night and stay safe. Happy Easter Sunday. <laughs>